Hi, Lucy here. We're going to work on variable speed pumps and um, how to program them. But a few things you want to know before you buy one is that um, if you have like, let's say, inch and a half pipe, you don't really want to waste the money on buying a variable speed pump that goes up to three horsepower because you'll never use that. So you can buy it like for a horse and a half, I mean an inch and a half pipe, you get up to like um, the RPMs that will just take you to a horse and a half motor because you don't want it any stronger. But a couple things that are really important, I know everybody wants to save money and that's the purpose of a variable speed pump. But if you have an in-floor cleaning system, um, the pop-up heads, uh, or if you have a pool vac, okay, then you have to run it at high speed for a certain amount of hours a day. So that's why we're programming this right now because when she bought the, um, the pump, she didn't have a pool vac. And then all of a sudden she gets a pool vac and it's not going to work because the RPMs are too slow because she was running it in a, a very low mode. So, um, so, so now Jason from JR Pools is going to walk us through, you know, how to set the function so that, you know, it can run for a few hours at a low speed, so you have flow, and then run for a couple hours at high speed so the cleaning system can work, and then low speed again, um, and, uh, and then also a couple other things that you want to in the winter time uh, change the programming so it runs from midnight to six so that there's always flow going through so the pipes don't burst so as long as the water is moving then you won't have pipes bursting we're going to adjust the present time as well as the scheduling and the speed level of a pentair variable speed pump you're going to shut off the pump so therefore you have one green light showing as power. That's all you need to adjust the time, the scheduling, and the uh, speed of the uh, pump. So you would start with the menu button that gets you into setting, and you hit select. Then you hit the bottom arrow that gives you the present time of what the pump set for. On a new pump, the timing will be off because that's from the manufacturer. That's how they set it when they uh, ship out the new pumps. So adjust the time. Then you would hit select again and adjust what time is actually 240. So I'm going to adjust it. And if you need to adjust the uh, the minutes and the hours, you hit the left key to adjust it. If you had adjusted, you would adjust down by the bottom here. I'll go back to where it was. And once you're done, hit the escape key. It just turned 243, that's what it changed. And back to settings again. Now for adjustment of a low speed and a high speed for your day, you would hit the uh, arrow up. And you go to the speed one through eight, because you have eight speeds that you're able to use. And I always adjust the seventh and eighth speed. Hit select and hit the arrows to go from one through eight. So I was gonna go back the other way. That's up right up to eight. So we'll one in order, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So usually I set speed seven on the low speed and you hit select, that's schedule. And now you would hit the bottom key and it's asking you what RPMs you like. Uh, we're gonna readjust this to 1500 RPMs Once you know what you want, then you hit enter, that locks it in. And then you hit the bottom key again, from what time to what time, the start time. We want it from midnight. So you hit the select key again. We'll go to 12 a.m. And back over to so this minute exactly. Hit enter. At start time, hit the bottom key. What time do you want to shut off? So we're going to change that to 6 a.m. Enter. 
to that set. If you want to check your uh, programming, the schedule now is 1500 RPMs, starting at midnight, stopping at 6, which is 6 hours later, and then that's good. So we're going to skate back, and we're going to do speed 8 to go to higher speed, so the pull cleaner will run efficiently. We go to 8, hit select, Show, uh, is asking me for schedule. So we want that at uh, this pole is going to uh, needs to be at 3,200 RPMs, uh, which is the speed rate uh, for the pole cleaner to work. So hit select. We found at 3,240, which is 3,240 RPMs is sufficient for this pole cleaner to work. Enter. Now what time to what time? So we want this to run uh, 10 a.m. to noon for two hours a day for the cleaner to run properly. Ten. Enter. And start time, stop time. We want to change that to noon, which is 12 p.m. And again, to check your work, schedule is for speed A, which is a higher speed, 3,240 RPMs. The start time is 10 a.m. The stop time is 12 p.m., which is two hours later. And that would, you'd be done with this. And then what you want to do is once you're done programming it, you hit the uh, start button because you want to see two lights. You want to see a green light and a dark orange light on. That means you're back to programming mode and it would run properly of what you set it for. So we're good? We are good. Okay, so let's say we want to just put it on right now. Now, if you want to run it uh, off schedule, these are default buttons, one through four. One being, usually it goes into a priming mode, which is a higher speed, and ramps down to a lower speed. Yeah, that's the prime it. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. a low speed here, 750 RPMs. Speed two is uh, 1500 RPMs. Speed three is, 2,350 RPMs, and speed 4, which is default again, is 3,110 RPMs. But most people like speed 3, it's an average speed for running your jacuzzi, your heater, and your cleaner, and, and any water uh, features you have in the pool. The speed 3 would be a sufficient one to override. And what's the only thing is, once you get speed 3 or 2 or 1 or 4, if you walk away, it's still going to run 24 7. You need to actually turn it off to, to remove yourself from manual. Hit the button again. So when these two lights are on, which is green and dark orange, you're back to programming mode again. Okay, so, so right now it's just going to stay off until midnight tonight. Yes. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Okay, so. I want to thank Jason. <laughs> for his good work and um, hopefully you guys uh, saw that and uh, learned something. So um, thanks Thank Jason. Thank you very much. Oops. <laughs>